so uh, also as a reminder for everybody uh, that um, wants to do Q right now we're at the time of Shovavim uh, as I mentioned to you guys the other day go to the Kiruv store get yourself some free cards to uh, give out in your community this is the new Tikkun Abrit, uh cards uh, people can uh, you know watch this um, film and actually uh, do tshuva, do tshuva for, uh, for Tikkun Abrit, which is uh, by far the uh, most foundational part of tshuva because once a person protects their Brit, they're going to have strength to do a lot of other things, which has a lot to do with our uh, shield tonight. Now, I know that uh, right now there is a, um, as a you know, custom uh, to uh, start reading Parashat Haman, uh, where uh, you know you read a section of this week's parasha, parasha b'shalach, a section about talk discussing the manna bread, and uh, this is a skula that uh, this is very good for parnasa. Uh, generally speaking, it's good to read that parasha all year round. Uh, but uh, one thing that uh, I would say is also uh, uh, good to hear from you know to, to learn from that parasha Taman is uh, something that uh, will achieve a lot more than just good parnasa, but actually good life. When you see that uh, Moshe Rabbeinu, uh, is, you know, gets Am Yisrael in his face pretty much, you know, complaining about everything and, you know, why are you starving us? Why are you uh, making us uh, not have food, not have drink, not have this, not have that? And instead of, you know, getting angry at them, instead of... Uh, uh, rebuking them, uh, which is something that he did later on because they literally took it too far. Uh, Moshe Rabbeinu uh, cries out to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, but at the same token, later on, he says to Am Yisrael, you complained against the Shem. You're not complaining against me or Aaron. You're complaining against the Shem. We are nothing. We're nothing that you're going to complain against us. We're, we are a creation. We're not the creator. So, this is something that we've all heard before as far as uh, that we are nothing and we've heard the humility of Moshe Rabbeinu but uh, I thought that it's a, uh, a good thing to, uh, to learn how such a behavior is, uh, is practiced in real life and uh, you know, in, in not just uh, something that happened 3,334 years ago and I uh, read a story that uh, with my kids that uh, certainly emulates what Vanach Numa uh, is uh, in real life. And I think this is a perfect uh, uh, you know, way to start the shield because anyone that understands this particular point will have a much easier time understanding the rest of the shield and quite frankly, all of the shiurim that we have uh, that give the truth that sometimes uh, contradicts a person's predisposition, a person's opinion. Uh, like someone told me yesterday, or at least tried to tell me yesterday, about all of his ideas of what God should do. And he was surprised that the response that I gave him, who do you think you are, that you're going to tell God what to do? And, you know, he's giving God ideas of what he thinks he should do with the Yetzirah, what he thinks he should do with this, with anti-Semitism, with Gehenom, with this. And I'm like, who do you think you are? You can't even tell your own wife what to do. You can't tell the IRS what to do. You can't tell the government what to do. You can't even tell the clerk at the, uh, at the gas station what to do and them for sure listen to you. You're going to tell God what to do? And of course, this, uh, the, the, if a person has an ego, they're not going to let that real truth enter their mind, enter their heart and realize, okay, you know what? Maybe I need to check myself. Maybe I really do need to uh, do tshuva. Maybe I really do need to reevaluate what my opinions are, what my beliefs are. Let me know uh, what you think and make sure to share it because other people need to learn too.